We're talking tax now, professionals and stakeholders gathered at the investiture of the president and chairman of council of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria in Lagos. And they are advocating for tax reforms to enhance Nigeria's tax system. Speaking during the event, the president of council, Mr. Samuel Agbelui, uh, said his tenure will focus on enhancing members' value with focus on ethics, standard practice, quality assurance, relevance and reward while thanking the immediate past president, uh, Mr. Additional Adedayo, for his service to the Institute. He urges practitioners to play uh, their role in to deliver exceptional outcomes to facilitate national development. He added that reforms in tax administration would be pursued with key objectives to enhance the quality of tax administration in the country. And the only thing one needs to focus on, which is what is going to just be my special remark, is to focus on the aspect of governance, on the aspect of delivering, because all eyes will be on you. And that is very critical. From CITM perspective, under my tenure, we have made up our mind to do a lot of advocacy that we help the revenue agencies. Tax collection is not an easy job. So the leaders of this country need to ensure that the social contract is maintained. We need tax justice. Good thing we are just having a new government in place. So we seek their indulgence. Our advocacy will center more on this. As we navigate the complexities of an evolving global economy, it is imperative that our tax professionals are equipped with the necessary skills and expertise to address emerging challenges and seize new opportunities. I am confident that Mr. Belui, with his vast experience and deep understanding of the tax landscape, will lead CITN to further strengthen the professional capabilities of its members. Talking taxation there, the federal government has been, has been requested to investigate the activities of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. A maritime forum was held in Lagos where calls were, this call was made. As a result, maritime experts identified areas that need closer scrutiny regarding NIMASA's management of funds. At the conference, the management of the 25% Maritime Fund, the Cabotage, Vessel Financing Funds, and other topics dominated the discussion. The NIMASA Act makes provision for a maritime fund, which should have 25% of the income which NIMASA generates from the industry. 25%. That maritime fund should go to the development of the Nigerian maritime industry across board. This is, this is separate from the Cabotage Vessel Financing Fund in the Cabotage Act, which should go exclusively for the development of ship-owning capacity. What is being done by NIMASA with this 25% maritime fund? Within the context of the law, I share with you very truthfully that I do not know. Today, we have NIMASA significantly investing in projects which will be undertaken by humanitarian uh, um, agencies. We have NIMASA investing in projects which are of suboptimal impact to the maritime industry and not investing in those projects which are of long-term sustainable value to the Nigerian maritime industry. And these are things which should be interrogated.